Hello everyone, my name is Peter. I am from thesupportzone.com and the purpose of thesupportzone.com is to offer bookkeeping services to small businesses. So with the help of today's video, we are going to see how we can uninstall and reinstall QuickBooks desktop onto the computer again. Okay, and uh, I will going to mention one important thing before we go ahead and uh, uninstall and reinstall QuickBooks desktop. I request you to do two things first. First is to create a company file backup and second is to have a license and a product number ready or if I say handy with yourself. Okay, so let me quickly go ahead and show you how we can quickly create a backup and how we can get a QuickBooks license and the product number because when we are going to reinstall the product it will gonna ask us for that. Alright, so this is a company file here. I mean I'm sorry let me open a sample company file for this case okay so I'm gonna save it on the desktop at the moment so here we go so this is a sample file that I'm going to use at the moment for this video purposes and let me click on yes to update the QuickBooks company file here so let's see and uh, let's wait to open the company file here all right okay it may take some while to open the company file as this company file may be big in size or something like that or I'm opening it up for the very first time on this computer that could be one of the reasons okay so as the file is open in order to create a backup first we need to go to the file menu then click on backup company and then click on create local backup then click on create local backup and browse the location where you want to create a backup for this video purpose I'm just choosing desktop as a location and I'm gonna click on use this location then I click choose save it now and then click on next and then click on save to save a backup copy of your QuickBooks company file here it may gonna check couple of data integrity issue like data integrity and all that things okay so I have discussed about the verify and rebuild of your company file into the last video so you can check that video as well about how you can verify and do all those all those things into your QuickBooks company file so the link of that video is also mentioned into the description below so let me click on ok as the backup has been saved you can see it ok so this was the first part to create a backup of your QuickBooks company file and second thing is to have a license and the product number handy so what we need to do to get that information go to the help menu and then look at the very bottom it says about QuickBooks desktop okay then click on that and you can see this license and the product number with the user licenses that you have currently for your QuickBooks okay so that's how you can have these two information ready before uninstalling the product all right so let me close this QuickBooks as we are ready with the two information here so let me show you how you can uninstall the QuickBooks from this computer so first what you need to do you need to open the control panel it is available on my desktop screen then go to programs and windows or sorry programs and futures here it is and then click on quickbooks pro 2024 and then click on uninstall click on yes to allow and then click on next again remove choose remove and then click on next and then click on remove again it may take a while to uninstall the product that will not gonna take that long but yes it will gonna take at least a minute or two to completely uninstall the QuickBooks from your computer okay one suggestion here I'm not going to uninstall the QuickBooks at the moment here okay I'm not gonna I'm sorry I mean I am not going to you can say I'm not going to like uh, restart the computer for this video purpose to make it a continuity okay what I would recommend you to do is to reboot the computer once the QuickBooks is completely uninstalled from your computer all right so let the uninstallation continue here and then we will gonna do the rest of the part here all right here we have it now and uh, we can like you can see it here it is like about to be complete if I say and uh, here we go you can see the installation wizard has successfully uninstalled QuickBooks Pro 2024 that is the version that I'm using and then click on finish once it is completely uninstalled okay so now what we are going to do now the second part, uh, part comes up is to reinstall QuickBooks desktop 
and in order to reinstall it back on your computer you need to go ahead and open your internet browser I'm going to use Firefox in my case and then type it in here QBDT okay once you type QBDT you can see this option that says QuickBooks it must say QuickBooks download but they have recently changed it it says Intuit app QuickBooks you just need to click on this okay but please remember this URL downloads.quickbooks.com okay you will gonna land up on this page and then click on like select your country from this drop down menu and then select your product I am using QuickBooks Desktop Pro and then choose QuickBooks 2024 in my case it is 2024 in your case it could be the different one okay and then click on search and when you click on search on the next window it will gonna show you this window to download QuickBooks on your computer so I'm just gonna click on download here okay to to download the QuickBooks on the computer as you can see here it will gonna take a minute in my case so let this download continue I will be back to you once this download will be completed all right all right guys as you can see QuickBooks is downloaded so let me click on it to launch the installation wizard if I say here and uh, let me let us wait for a minute to launch all right let me click on yes and here we go it is extracting all the files that is required to run quick on the computer okay and uh, here we go and you can see it here we need to click on quick license agreement then we need like this license agreement will be open if you would like to read it you can read it that is totally up to you but I'm just gonna minimize this window and I will say I accept the terms of the license agreement and now it will ask you to enter the license and the product number as I told you that you need to have a license and the product number handy so that was the purpose to keep it somewhere handy like a, on a piece of paper or something like that okay so I'm also available with this information let me go ahead and put that in to install the QuickBooks on this computer all right so I just enter the information let me click on next and I'm gonna choose this option here because I'm using QuickBooks only on one computer then let me click on next again and let me click on install to install the QuickBooks on this computer all right so this installation wizard may take some time depending on your QuickBooks sorry your computer like configuration and all that so I will be back to you once this download or the installation will be completed all right as you can see it here so the installation is completed let me click on open QuickBooks to open it on the computer and then I will going to go ahead and uh, restore the company file that we had before the uninstallation if I see okay let me go ahead and open it all right, all right. let me exit this revised license agreement and uh, here we go and let me close this window let me click on this option here open or restore an existing company file and I'm gonna click on open company file I know the location it is available on the desktop so that's why I'm clicking on that to open the company file here it will gonna take few minutes to open the company file on your computer and that's how you can restore or reopen the company file after the reinstallation of your QuickBooks on the computer all right so you can see the file is about to be open it is showing at the top the name of the company file as it is a sample file I just open this for this video purpose okay so it is you can see it is open now so that was it for this video and the purpose was to uninstall and reinstall QuickBooks on the Windows computer okay and uh, one more thing guys that in case you're interested for some kind of a bookkeeping services for your business you can contact me on this information this is my website you can visit my website and you can leave an inquiry over there you can also call me on this phone number and also you can drop me an email on this email address okay so I will see you in the next video with something new about QuickBooks and if you have any doubts any questions related to QuickBooks please do comment below and like this video do share this video to the needy ones who are in search of some QuickBooks help and I will be there to help them as well thank you have a good one I will see you in the next one bye bye